So this patient has a known thyroid nodule. So it picks it up really, really nicely right there. I can see the borders. If I wanted to measure, I can measure. I'm actually just going to zoom out a little bit so that it's a little clearer. Here we go. I actually just froze it using the screen. Now that we freeze it, what can we do with this image? First, usually when you find a nodule or any abnormality when you're doing ultrasound, you need to measure. What are we measuring? The length. The options that it gives us um, is not only length. However, it's length, angle, area, slash, circumference trace and depth. So you see we have one, two, three, four, five options when it comes to measuring, which is great. Um, it gives us the versatility of measuring uh, the circumference of, let's say, um, a mass or the uh, depth from the skin. And in this case, we're going to be measuring the width. So we're going to click length. Um, it's really nice because we can simply tap to apply the cursors, um, they light up in green. So whichever cursor is um, uh, pointer is lit up in green is the one that's going to move. So right now the medial aspect is in green, it'll move more laterally, we can tap there. Something that is really nice, which I'll show you, I'm gonna clear it and we're gonna remeasure. Um, once I tap, hold on, let's clear that. Once I tap, um, it automatically measures. So see how I just tap one end to the other? I don't have to move the cursor around after that. It automatically gives me the measurement on the side and it is in mill millimeters. Um, it's 15 millimeters or 1.5 centimeters. I'm going to clear that and normally we would, of course, measure the nodule, which is a lot smaller than the thyroid. So we can see how that does. And it's actually very precise. It measured end to end once again. If I wanted to go ahead and kind of fine tune, I can do that using my pointer finger and kind of moving the cursor around. If I needed to add another cursor, in this uh, case, we're just measuring the width. If I needed to measure the depth, I would just hit measure once again. I would tap length. And then once again, carefully tap in our cursors. One thing that I really um, like about that is that when I'm tapping, it's tapping exactly where I'm putting my finger down. It's not tapping, it's not inserting the cursor to the left, to the right, it's pretty accurate. And I think that's great because that is one of the things that frustrates me sometimes when I'm measuring and I don't want to spend a lot of time fine tuning my measurements.